Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Monday, October 1st, 2018, and I am Mackenzie Plusnick. A vineyard in Dublin, brain-eating amoeba, and natural disasters in Asia. These are just some of today's top stories. In campus news, Associate Professor of English and Study Abroad Director Dr. Marilyn Robitaille is releasing a book of poetry called Not by Design, 50 Poems and Images. Her books, according to a Tarleton press release, is a diverse collection of poetry that covers a wide variety of topic. topics. Robitaille says that she wanted to produce something that crossed years, places, and emotional divides and looks at ways we're all connected. Robitaille also writes movie reviews for the Stephenville Empire Tribune and the Glen Rose Reporter. She also co-edits for Tarleton's anthology a student publication of prose, poetry, and the visual arts, as well as Langdon Review of the Arts Texas. She will be reading selections from the book at Tarleton's Reading and Sharing Collections, Creativity Scholarship and Brunch, October 9th in the Library Multipurpose Room 140 at 9.30 a.m. Not by Design, 50 Poems and Images will be released October 6th and will be available on Amazon. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, Lucky Vines Vineyard and Winery is now open. The vineyard is located on County Road 351 near Dublin. The vineyard is unique in that it will only carry items made in Texas. Its main feature is a tasting room that overlooks the vineyard. Jeff and Kimberly Hutchins own the vineyard. Jeff says, this has been a labor of love. We want this place to be where people come to relax and enjoy some great wine. That, the vineyard opened this past weekend and will be open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 1 to 6 p.m. And now, today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. A landlocked surf resort in Central Texas closed on Friday after a New Jersey man who visited died from what is commonly known as a brain-eating amoeba. BSR Cable Park owner Stuart E. Parsons Jr. said it will continue to comply with requests related to the investigation of Fabrizio Stabile's death. The 29-year-old man died in New Jersey earlier this month after falling ill. Parsons said Stabile had been in the park's wave pool. Officials are investigating the source. An obituary in the Atlantic City, New Jersey Press describes Stabile as an avid outdoorsman who loved fishing, surfing, and snowboarding. In national news, as the Senate is divided on President Trump's Supreme Court pick, so too are women across the country. Female voices are echoing through the U.S. Senate this week, demanding male senators justify their support for Brett Kavanaugh, but other women have spent hours calling Senate offices in support of Kavanaugh, condemning what they saw as an anti-Republican foy that's damaged not only Kavanaugh's reputation and livelihood, but also their accusers. In international news, a recent string of national disasters is severely affecting Asia. A deadly earthquake and large tsunami have taken a huge toll not only economically, but also on human lives. The UN Office of Risk Reduction say that up to 1.6 million people could be affected by the 7.5 earthquake. The death toll in Indonesia was 832 on Saturday night, but is expected to grow. These disasters are not the first to hit Asia this fall. Japan, China, Lois, and Cambodia have all been hit by natural disasters, costing much of Asia money and lives. In sports, from AP, John Gruden of the Oakland Raiders pushed his first win in 3,591 days. The Raiders played the Browns on Sunday and defeated them 45-42. to Derek Carr threw four touchdown passes and tied the game with a two-point conversion, leaving only 30 seconds left in the game. This set McCrane up for a 29-yard field goal, which brought the Raiders to their victorious 45 points. Today we will have a high of 85, a low of 69. Mostly cloudy with wind 5 to 10 miles per hour from the south. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Ap Apache Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Ariana Groupie and Jared Hopkins. Have a wonderful day, Texans.